Ever wondered what nitrosamine impurities are and why they are important? Well, let's start this journey of discovery together. Nitrosamines are a class of chemical compounds that have raised eyebrows in the scientific community and not without reason. Some of these compounds are potentially harmful, something we should all be knowledgeable about. Nitrosamines are no rarity. In fact, they are often found in certain types of food and drink, which might be surprising. However, what might come as an even bigger surprise is that these compounds aren't exclusive to our diets. They can also be found in some pharmaceutical products, products that many of us rely on for our health and well-being. While the presence of nitrosamines doesn't automatically spell disaster, it's an area that requires our attention. This is a topic that goes beyond simple curiosity. It's about understanding what we consume and how it might affect us. Intrigued yet? Let's delve deeper into the world of nitrosamine impurities. To truly understand nitrosamine impurities, we must first take a look at the science behind it. Nitrosamines are a group of organic compounds, composed primarily of nitrogen, oxygen, and a R group, which is typically a hydrocarbon. Their chemical structure is what makes them both intriguing and, in some cases, harmful. Nitrosamines are formed through a chemical reaction between nitrites and secondary amines. This reaction often occurs under acidic conditions or high temperatures such as during the cooking process of certain foods. Here's where things get a bit dicey. Some nitrosamines are carcinogenic, meaning they have the potential to cause cancer. This is due to their ability to interact with DNA, leading to mutations that can result in uncontrolled cell growth. Research has linked nitrosamines to various types of cancers, including those of the stomach, esophagus, and bladder. But why are some nitrosamines harmful while others aren't? The answer lies in their chemical structure. Nitrosamines with certain R groups, particularly those with longer carbon chains, are more likely to be carcinogenic. These structures allow the nitrosamines to be more stable and resist being broken down by the body, increasing their potential to cause damage. In addition to their carcinogenic properties, nitrosamines can also have other adverse health effects. For example, they can lead to liver damage and respiratory issues. It's important to note, however, that these effects typically occur with prolonged or high levels of exposure. Nitrosamines are not naturally occurring compounds, but are often formed as byproducts in various industrial processes. They can also be found in certain foods, especially those that have been smoked, cured, or fried. Nitrosamines are also present in certain products like rubber and cosmetics, and even in some pharmaceuticals, which we will discuss in more detail later. So now you know what nitrosamines are, but where can they be found? Let's delve into that in the next scene. You might be surprised to learn that nitrosamines can be found in many everyday items. Yes, you heard it right. These potentially harmful compounds are more common than you might think. Let's start with food. Nitrosamines are often found in cured meats such as bacon, ham, and hot dogs. That's because these foods are preserved using a process called curing, which involves the use of nitrates or nitrites, when these preservatives react with proteins in the meat during cooking, especially at high temperatures, they can form nitrosamines. It's not just meats though. Certain types of cheese and fish, particularly those that are smoked or fermented, can also contain nitrosamines. Even beer and other alcoholic beverages aren't immune. The malting process, which involves germinating barley grains to convert starch into sugar, can lead to the formation of nitrosamines. Now let's talk about pharmaceuticals. Nitrosamines can be unintentionally introduced into certain medications during the manufacturing process. They can also form over time under certain conditions, such as when the drug is stored at high temperatures. Unfortunately, this means even our medicines aren't completely free from these compounds. But it's not all doom and gloom. The levels of nitrosamines in these products are typically very low. In fact, Regulatory bodies like the Food and Drug Administration in the United States have set strict limits on the amount of nitrosamines that can be present in food and pharmaceuticals. And many manufacturers are taking steps to further reduce the levels of these compounds in their products. It's also worth noting that cooking methods can influence nitrosamine formation. For example, frying or grilling meats at high temperatures can increase the amount of nitrosamines, while boiling or steaming can help to keep levels low. So, it seems nitrosamines are more common than we thought, but how can we limit our exposure? Well, that's a topic for our next scene, so stay tuned and remember knowledge is power. While it's impossible to avoid nitrosamines entirely, there are steps we can take to limit our exposure. Nitrosamines are ubiquitous in our environment, present in everything from the food we eat to the air we breathe. But fear not, 
with a few conscious choices, we can significantly reduce our exposure to these potentially harmful compounds. Let's begin with our diet. Nitrosamines are formed when nitrates and nitrites, common preservatives in processed meats, react with amines in the stomach. Therefore, opting for nitrate-free or low-nitrate foods can be a great first step. Think fresh fruits, vegetables and lean meats or products labeled as nitrate-free. Beyond food, certain medications may also contain nitrosamines. If you're on long-term medication, it's worth discussing with your healthcare provider if there are nitrosamine-free alternatives available. Remember, it's not about panicking, but about informed choices. Tobacco is another major source of nitrosamines. If you're a smoker, quitting or reducing tobacco consumption can considerably lower your nitrosamine exposure. Even if you're not a smoker, avoiding secondhand smoke is equally important. Then there's alcohol. While moderate consumption may not pose significant risks, heavy drinking can lead to the formation of nitrosamines in the body. So, it's wise to limit alcohol intake, and when you do indulge, opt for nitrosamine-free beverages when possible. Another simple yet effective measure is to cook at lower temperatures. High heat cooking, particularly grilling and frying, can lead to the formation of nitrosamines. So try steaming, boiling, or baking your food instead, and enjoy the added benefit of retaining more nutrients in your meals. In the end, it's about balance and making conscious choices for our health. There's no need to eliminate all sources of nitrosamines from your life, but small changes can make a big difference. So, we've learned how to limit exposure to nitrosamines, but what about their presence in pharmaceuticals? Let's dive into that in the next section, stay tuned. The presence of nitrosamines in pharmaceuticals is a hot topic in the industry, but why is it so? Nitrosamines are a family of compounds that can form during the manufacturing of certain drugs, particularly those containing amines. They're not something we want in our medications for a simple reason, they're potentially carcinogenic. Yes, you heard it right. Nitrosamines are classified as probable human carcinogens, substances that could lead to cancer with long-term exposure. They've been a cause for concern in the food industry for some time, and now they're under the spotlight in the world of pharmaceuticals. So how do nitrosamines end up in our medicines? It's a tale of chemistry. During the manufacturing process, specific reactions can lead to the formation of these unwanted compounds. It's not intentional, but an unfortunate side effect of the complex chemistry involved in drug production. Now you might be wondering, what's being done about this? The good news is, the pharmaceutical industry is not taking this lightly. There's a concerted global effort underway to understand and limit nitrosamine contamination. Regulatory bodies like the FDA in the United States, the European Medicines Agency, and others around the world have issued guidelines to pharmaceutical companies. These guidelines outline strategies for detecting and controlling nitrosamine impurities, from improving manufacturing processes to rigorous testing of final products. On their part, pharmaceutical companies are investing in advanced analytical methods and refining their manufacturing processes. They're working to ensure that their products are as safe as possible, minimizing nitrosamine contamination to levels that pose no significant risk to human health. It's a complex and challenging task, but one the industry is committed to. After all, the goal of pharmaceuticals is to improve health, not compromise it. The presence of nitrosamines in pharmaceuticals is a serious issue, but rest assured, the industry is working hard to address it. It's a testament to the ongoing commitment to safety and quality that defines the pharmaceutical industry. We've covered a lot of ground today, from the science behind nitrosamines to their presence in everyday items and pharmaceuticals. We've delved into the chemical structure of nitrosamines, highlighting their potential health risks and the importance of limiting our exposure to these compounds. We've discussed how nitrosamines pervade our everyday life, present in everything from processed meats to cosmetics and even pharmaceuticals. This presence underscores the importance of being informed consumers, aware of the potential risks and diligent in our choices. We also delved into the pharmaceutical industry's efforts to limit nitrosamine contamination, ensuring the safety and efficacy of our medications. The industry's vigilance is commendable, but as consumers, we too must stay informed and proactive. Remember, knowledge is power. Understanding nitrosamines, their potential risks, and how to limit exposure is crucial for health-conscious individuals. Your health is in your hands. Stay informed and make healthy choices. Subscribe for more.